Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Step one is grabbing my Posca pens because I am going to need them to do something that has no relevance really to the project I'm about to do, but it is still a vital part of this project. I'm painting a whole bunch of SpongeBob flowers on the back of this paper because I'm going to be transforming this concrete snail into Gary the snail from SpongeBob. I'm very excited about this. Before I begin, like and subscribe and let's get into this transformation. First, I needed to squeeze out the paints, which for this paint in particular turned out to not be very satisfying, but I still got enough of it and I decided to bring in some hot pink too to really make sure that this color is saturated. I didn't gesso this snail before I put paint on it, which I usually do just to make sure that I have a smooth base, but I felt like the texture of this snail would stick paint pretty well and I was right, it did okay. We needed three layers to cover this entire thing, but it was okay, we got it done. So I just started off by painting the back of the shell pink because as you know this is what Gary looks like and we are trying to imitate him to a T but also in a realistic ish kind of way. I'm honestly not sure why I decided to turn the snail into Gary from Spongebob um, other than it was a snail and that is literally the only snail I could think of. So now it's time to move on to the next color while I let the pink dry because I was just kind of smearing it around. So I went ahead and got this pale blue to start doing the body of Gary and I really never paid that much attention to these colors but they're actually such a pretty color palette obviously and I'm like I need to do more with this color palette in the future. There's this really pretty pink, we've got a pale blue, a spring green. It all just goes together very well. Very spring color scheme. So I just went ahead and did three layers of blue as well to really make sure everything was covered and it was kind of looking like Gary the Snail already. I went ahead in over the pink that I already did and I kind of accidentally came up with this technique, kind of like dry brushing where I didn't get too much paint. That way the darker paint showed through and it really showed some texture on the snail which was really cool and now it's time to move on to that third color that I was talking about which is this pale green color so I tried really hard to be careful which wasn't the best for me but I just wiped it off and went ahead and kept on going and finished painting the underneath part of the snail green and tried to do everywhere that was still left showing and get underneath it the best that I could and to do some smooth layers and again did about three of those to really make sure that it blended in well in the show Gary has these greenish based eyes and so I mixed some white with green to create the eye color and then I went ahead in with my Posca pens to create some details that are on the back of the shell of course he's got some purple spots so I went ahead in and added those the best that I could and then since I don't really know what the back of Gary's shell looks like I just kind of mirrored it on the other side so I just matched those dots from the front to the back and then filled some random ones into the middle to just try and create my own pattern and kind of imagine what he might look like from an aerial view, a back view, a side view, all of the views and angles and created this. Now it's time to do the signature red swirl on Gary's shell. That was kind of a tongue twister, but I just did my best to color in the crevice that was already there and just kind of outline everything and make it bold. And that's pretty much all that I did for the front. And then I touched up any spots that were too out of line. And then I turned it around and did the back as well. This looks more like Gary's signature a little swirl here and then I moved on to the eyes which I was debating whether or not to make true to Gary and make red because it's kind of scary but I did do it I decided to commit full send I wanted this to be truly authentic and then I put in the little black dots and here is how it was looking which was a little bit cursed but also extremely like Gary the snail from Spongebob which was the goal so now that it was all done and painted it's time to add some varnish which I was looking and checking and it is safe for exterior and interior use, which means that hopefully it's okay outside. So we're going to test that later, but I just poured some out to cover up the snail and protect it. This isn't an overly complicated design, but I actually love it so much. I can't believe that it looks so much like Gary the snail and that the color palette is actually kind of amazing. I did accidentally smear some of the purple Posca paint when I was varnishing and that's on being impatient patient but we're all a work in progress so I just touched it up the best that I could and here is the finished snail 
there's this red paint all over my desk. It's because I put paint on paper and um, it just leaked through the paper, obviously. But I'm just saying that it's Gary's snail trail. So anyway, here is the completed snail, which looks exactly like Gary and is also a little bit cursed, a little bit scary. It's like if Gary were in real life a little bit and giant because this is a giant snail, obviously. It's also made out of concrete, so it's extremely heavy. But here's the full spin around of Gary the snail looking pretty stylish and extremely like the character and I think that it turned out so cool. This was kind of an unserious project but here Gary is around various places enjoying his life if you're curious what he gets up to on the couch in the sky you know contemplating life in a mirror but it was so much fun to create and I had a blast trying to recreate Gary the snail and make all of these patterns and make him look like him in the cartoon and it was just a fun thing that I wanted to do so this is your sign to create some unserious art today like and subscribe for more art videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye